Hi guys, Lisa's here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Russia. Lisa is having a very happy face today because there is no even single cloud in the sky. So please guys, follow me and I'm going to show you my favorite metro line here in Moscow. I will be taking Moscow Central Circle line. On a map you can find it as white and red line number 14. Let's go on a full circle journey today guys. So I'm starting my way here on the west side of Moscow and I want to stop at the opposite side of the town. I will take you guys to Izmailova station and then I will take uh, the same line and I will go back so i will do a full circle ride today i live in moscow for more than six months already and i haven't filmed any videos about moscow metro so far so today we need to fix that When you enter any of Moscow metro stations, you have to scan your big bags and your luggage in X-ray machine because what? Safety first. These are ticket kiosks. Uh, if you're a tourist in Moscow, you most probably will use this method of payment for your metro rides because you can pay here with your cash. So one way ride will cost you 65 Russian rubles. Also, you can top up your Metro card Troika here. MCC line is actually a joint work of Moscow Transport and RGD company, which is a national railway company in Russia. As you can see, I didn't touch anything to enter Metro because I paid with my face. To do that as well, you need to download Moscow Metro app and then upload your biometry and connect to your Russian bank account so you can pay with your face. And it actually will give you a discount. So with a paper ticket, you will pay 65 rubles and with your face, it will only cost 50 Russian rubles. These new gates in Moscow Moscow Metro are very safe because you cannot actually jump over them or crawl under. Can you do something illegal on a platform? I think no, because cameras are watching you in each direction.
It took me 45 minutes ish to get to the opposite side of Moscow Central Circle and it was a very cool ride. I charged my phone, I look at the landscapes. It was really pleasant. At the exit gates you don't have to use any cards. It will open by itself when you will approach to it. Also, apparently, I forgot my bank card today. It happened to me before. So, today we're going to see if I'm going to survive in Moscow without any cash and a bank card. Ismailova area is famous for its big Ismailova park. Also, it has Ismailova Kremlin, it's very beautiful. Also, behind me, there will be Ismailova hotel complex, and Ismailova station has also a big bus terminal. There are three big, massive hotels that are connected into one big hotel complex. You know, it's very bright and sunny today, but at the same time, it's a bit tricky weather because it's still cold outside. So I want to get inside, maybe charge my phone and get some worms. And as I forgot my bank card, I need to find a place which allow to pay you with scanning a QR code. And I know that Moscow is actually becoming more cashless and even cardless nowadays. Here is a um, hot pot Chinese restaurant and soju Korean restaurant. I would like to go there, but I'm just by myself today. So I need to find something more simple. I think I should try Kofix because it's a big, famous, popular coffee chain in Moscow. So they should allow me to pay with scanning a QR code. My coffee cup is actually very motivational. I know that some of you guys who learn Russian language, so for people who don't know Russian, I can read it. Спустя год ты будешь счастлив, что начал именно сегодня. It translates as in a year you will be happy that you started today. I think that it is very smart thought because everything in life takes time. So if you have any dream, you can start it today and in a year you will definitely see some progress. If you will take my YouTube channel, it took me around one year to get to 1000 subscribers because I actually uploaded two or three videos on this channel from the beginning and then I just stopped doing anything, I just forgot about it. And then after one year of doing actually nothing, I got some subscribers and watch hours and it was really helpful for me. It is Ismailovsky Kremlin, very beautiful and touristy place. If you will go to the right side, you will come to the Ismailovsky market, which is the biggest thrift market in Moscow. I already have a vlog from this market and I want to make it again. I want to film another video about it because I have an idea to go to the market to buy some Soviet things for my flat because I've been doing renovation as you know and I want to add some little details from the Soviet uh, style, Soviet Union, because I live in a Khrushchevka apartment, so I want to keep the spirit.
Hi guys from the editing stage of this video I wanted to end this video differently but as you know yesterday we had a big attack in Moscow it's a biggest terrorist attack in Russia for the last 20 years 133 people come for to be victims and I want to send my condolences to families and I only can pray for the time when my country and all other countries will have less violence than we have now. I went for a short life yesterday, so just let you know that I'm fine, so I'm fine, as you saw in my video. I didn't go anywhere other than going to the park, so I promise you to be safe and stay safe too. You can watch my other videos on my channel if you want to know more about me or about Russia. Please subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!